Hi, Stefan Svartling here. SwiftKey 4.0 has finally been released. It's now available in Google Play Store. And this is what's new. SwiftKey 4 now have the SwiftKey Flow gesture-based typing built in. So you don't need to have SwiftKey Flow and the normal SwiftKey. This app has both way of typing built into the same keyboard. Multimodal, you can mix and tap typing with uh, gesture swiping in the middle of a word. Mid-word completion, flow through space. That means that you can gesture type all words without moving your finger from the screen. You can do that by swiping down to the space bar between the words. And even the gesture-based typing, SwiftKey Flow predicts the word now. And that's really, really good. So when you have swiped a word, you get prediction of words after that. So, and it works really, really great, exactly as the typing prediction. <clears throat> and by tapping backspace, you can switch words from three different words that SwiftKey predicts. It's called three SwiftKey flow candidates. Easier corrections, you can tap anywhere on a word to choose an alternative from SwiftKey's three best guesses. Better personalization, uh, SwiftKey learns a lot more from us now. They have increased the size for the prediction engine, so it learns more from us the more we use it. And SwiftKey now also automatically detects the writing styles, so you don't have to choose rapid or precise typing. SwiftKey feels that automatically. Better predictions. Enhanced language engine, prediction in more text fields, as requested by many users. I am one of them. It has support for 60 languages, improved layouts, multicolored ink when doing SwiftKey flow. Hold to delete, you can long press the delete key to remove a whole word. So this is the new features in SwiftKey 4.0. Now I'm gonna show you how it looks. Hi, Stefan Svartling here. And this is the Swatling Network. I would like to show you how the new SwiftKey 4.0 looks like. Here is the settings in the Samsung Galaxy S3 4G that I use at the moment. So if we go into SwiftKey settings, you see all the SwiftKey settings here. Here you can activate SwiftKey Flow that I use the most. You can install different languages here. As you can see, I have installed English and Swedish. Here you can decide if you want uh, SwiftKey to learn from your Facebook, Gmail, Twitter, RSS feeds from your blogs. SMS and I have activated all of that. Here you can choose different themes. I use Cobalt because um, the buttons, the keys gets bigger with Cobalt than the others. I have a problem with that. I use both Swedish and English so the keyboard for SwiftKey has O A E, the Swedish letters O A E, so that means that the keys get smaller than for a US or UK user. So if I choose Cobalt, the keys gets bigger than usually. And other settings for the keyboard in the theme settings you have advanced settings here haptic feedback and sounds and portrait mode how big the keys should be in height landscape keyboard height too Here you can see some uh, SwiftKey stats, how much more effective you have been with uh, 
Swift key and tape support and here you have the latest version Swift key 4.0.0.106 so that was the settings now I will show you how it looks when typing so we start a uh, Evernote note. Here you have the keyboard, Cobalt theme. So let's say I swipe test, or should I say flow maybe, Swift key flow. As you can see, it swiped test. I can change the word for tester or testing. Then I get some predictions, test from email. I swipe Swift key, test Swift key. Then I can, then it has predicted the Swedish word board. That means keyboard in English. I use two languages, Swedish and English, so Swift key predicts both Swedish and English words. So I choose the English word keyboard in Evernote. Works quite good. But if I type a word here, use some and then want to change that to some of the words Swift key predicts I just do a back delete backspace and you can see this is the words that Swift key thinks I mean with that swipe with that flow I did sessions awesome or Adobe problems with focusing I see so it's easy to back on a word you have swiped or typed so I can type a complete sentence with only predicted words so I am an Android user you see I didn't type or swiped one character but I could type a complete sentence that's pretty nifty I really like that with Swift key I am a swipe user so I will switch to Swift key 4 now because it has an awesome prediction I really love the prediction in swipe so that was how Swift key looks like the new version version 4 Swift key 4 I love it here you have numbers and symbols you can go to Swift key settings by tap and hold that key so I like Swift key 4 Please like this video and give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please do that. I need more subscribers. Okay, bye.